So you've had your meter changed and now you're left wondering what to do next. Well, my name's Shane from MC Electrical and today we're going to be showing you how to start up your Fronius inverter so you can start producing some solar power. Let's go have a look. So when you get to the inverter, you'll see a little orange light as well as some state codes if you activate the screen. This is because on the day of installation, we actually leave your AC solar circuit breaker and your AC isolator, if you have one, in the on position. And this just helps to ensure that the settings we applied on the day don't get lost over time and that your consumption data is still going to be all current and active on the solar web portal. So, there's only one more thing to ensure we get your solar system up and running and that is to turn on the DC isolator, so let's do that. So to turn the DC isolator on, we just need to rotate it clockwise and have this beveled edge pointing toward the one. So as soon as you turn on the DC isolator, It'll clear those state codes and then it'll come up with weight master ready and the inverter will go through its startup procedure before it starts to produce power. This will take about two minutes, but we'll speed up the process. So now that all that has gone through and started up, the inverter is displaying your AC Apple power and that's just the current readout of how much power you're producing and the system is on and working. The guys should have shown you how to shut down your inverter on the day of install, but if it's been a while and you've forgotten, there'll be a shutdown procedure labeled on or near your inverter. So that's really all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or concerns or you just want to double check something, feel free to give us a call at the office and we'll be happy to help you out as best we can. Thanks guys, have a good one. Green power. Oh, green energy. <laughs> Why are you smiling? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>